Hey everyone, J.B. and Gum here with Background Check Podcast, where we believe your background shouldn't hold you back, it should pay you back. Today, I'm at the Forgiven Felons Transitional House, and the reason why is because on Background Check-In today, I'm doing another special Friday edition of Background Check-In, just for you guys and gals on the Pando app in prisons and jails across America. Special, special for you guys, okay? And today, we're going to be talking about dreams, all right? You know, uh, when I got out of solitary confinement, and, and as we go, I'm just gonna be walking around, I'm gonna be showing you uh, places, you know, look, no, no shower shoes needed. Uh, this is where some of the guys stay. Yeah, so, you know, when we went to, um, when we, we check out this dude, this dude, he's got a recliner, and he's got his own bathroom, yeah, yeah, what, what? So listen, I wanna talk about dreams. So uh, when, I, when I was in prison, I had two guys mentoring me, and they got out and they made parole and I thought they were gonna change the world. And they were back in prison before I made parole. Computer desks. It's where we eat the spreads. Check this out, man. Computer, look at this kitchen. You can make some good spreads in there. And I asked God, I said, God, I said, my, my own mentors did not make it. How am I gonna make it when I get out of prison? And he said, I'm gonna give you this dream. And as long as you pursue this dream, you'll never come back to prison in this capacity. And that meant a lot to me because the first book I read while I was in prison, some of you already know this because you've been listening to the podcast for a long time, was Dream Giver. And the Dream Giver changed my life. The Dream Giver is the reason Forgiven Felons exists. It's the reason Background Check Podcast exists. Check out this fellowship patio, man. Look at those nice lights, lots of room. We may have a concert out here. All right, so now we're going into, we got a little second house back here. So you'll never come back to prison in this capacity because I'm gonna give you this dream. And as long as you pursue it, you'll never come back. And the dream was to have a transitional house. And we've been doing it for 11, 12 years now. And, uh, and now we're at a new one. Um, but the dream is even bigger now than it's ever been. The dream now is for the resource center. And we know it's gonna happen and we know that it's been a challenge. Whoa, where'd you go? It's been a challenge, but God is making it happen too. So this is a little two bedroom. Look at that, look at that. Little kitchen, all right, all right. And so uh, dreams, guys, it's important that you know what God has called you to do and you pursue it. If you know what God's called you to do and you pursue it, then you're gonna stay out of trouble. But listen, there were so many things. I, it took me five years when I got out of prison for this dream to come fr uh, to fruition. Um, I, man, it was, it was rough. I almost gave up. I almost gave up. Some of you have been waiting on your dream to happen. Maybe your dream is parole. My, my dream was not parole. I told God not to let me out until he knew I was ready to never come back to prison. And so look at this guy. This guy's got Buffalo Bills, got his own bathroom. Yeah, I got a little work desk and... These guys got it made, they got it made. But listen, don't ever stop pursuing your dream. You may not know what your dream is now. You may not know what it is. I didn't know what it is until God uh, un unveiled it to me through those guys, two guys that mentored me and they didn't make it. And I was like, God, why didn't they make it? Why didn't they make it? Because they didn't have a good place to go. I know not some of us have great families to go to. I know some of y'all have great families to go to. I had a great family to go to. And at Forgiven Felons, that's what we do. We try to provide that great family. We try to provide a nice place to live. Uh, we try to provide connections to good jobs, good paying jobs, and even help you start your own business if you want to. All right, but you can't stop pursuing your dream. There's a song called um, uh, Dream Again, Open Your Eyes and Dream Again by Matthew West. If you have the ability to look it up on your tablet, do it. It's a great song. It's a great song. But dream again, Satan does not want you to dream. He doesn't want you to pursue your dream. He doesn't want you to find out what God's dream is for your life, but you've got to find it. You've got to, what, what dream is another word for purpose, passion. What's your passion? What, what is God developing in you right now while you're sitting in prison? Don't waste the time. The devil wants you to be idle. The devil wants you to go play every day on the rec yard. It's not a sin to play on the rec yard, but he, he wants you to do that so he can distract you for pursuing your dream. What is your dream? Are you, are you ready to pursue it? Do you even know what it is? 
Find some mentors to help you discover your dream. Start mentoring others and that will help you discover your dream. Pray, pray, just get in quiet time and just say, God, what, what is my purpose? Look around and see a need. I saw a need. I saw a need for good, a good transitional house. And that became my dream. Now I've, I've seen a need the last three or four years for a resource center, vocational trades, all these things. And now that is my next dream. All right. And so I just want to encourage you today, wherever you are, whether you're in jail and you've got a long road ahead of you uh, to go to prison, whether you are already in prison, whether you've been in prison 20 years or two weeks, find out what your dream is. Your dream is going to keep you out of trouble. Your dream is going to keep you through this prison time. Your dream is going to keep your marriage together. Your dream is going to keep your business on the right track. What is your dream? I dare you to dream. I dare you to ask God what your dream is. He'll give it to you, but also open your eyes and dream again. Find that song by Matthew West. Um, but let me let me pray over you today. All right. Listen, the, um, I'm releasing the third episode. Are you are you liking the uh, documentaries? Um, this third and last episode. Now we get to see where they are. Uh, this episode was in 2019. So some of them are in different, even different places now. We're thinking about doing Forgiven Felons 2.0, seeing where they are now and following another couple stories. What do you think? We gotta have money to do it. But um, thank you. Uh, over 50,000 of you have viewed all four videos. Thank you. 72 of you have accepted Christ as your savior. Thank you. Thank you. Over 12,000 of you have subscribed. Thank you. I think 15,000 of you have watched the two episodes. So thank you to all. Spread the word. Let me pray let me pray over you this uh, this Friday. Uh, Father in Jesus name, I thank you for everyone watching. Thank you for everyone listening. I thank you God for the dream that you've given me. I thank you God for the dream that you've given this person watching this video right now. I thank you for everyone, Lord. I thank you for your, for your love, your grace, your mercy. I thank you for the measure of faith that you've given me, the measure of faith that you've given this person watching this video. I thank you for their dream. I thank you, God, that even though we have a devil that's trying to distract us, you keep us on our dream journey. Lord, I lift everyone up to you right now. I, I bind depression in Jesus' name. I bind worry, anxiety in Jesus' name. Some of you have parole coming up. I bind to that worry in Jesus' name. That parole answer, good or bad, cannot stop you from your dream. I lift them up to you today, Lord. Let's show them, reveal them to what, the, reveal to them what their dream is. But also, God, show them how to cultivate their dream. How to cultivate their dream. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Guys, thank y'all. I hope you enjoy episode three. I'm releasing it uh, today, Friday. All right? Y'all have a great weekend, and I love y'all. Thank you for everyone who's writing in. Listen, I won't be able to write all of you back until we get a staff underneath us that can handle all the letters. You all. But listen, we're going to start videoing soon, hopefully. Uh, this is all just on my iPhone, but we're going to hopefully get our cameras in soon, and uh, we're going to get the studio built, finished out, and hopefully start doing video podcasts and interviews again. I may have to release a few audio episodes, so make sure you go over to the podcast uh, platform on your tablet, look up the podcast, Background Check Podcast, and check them out. There's like 130-something episodes, and then there's, uh, I don't know, 20 or 30 background check-ins, all right? A little shorter episodes, uh, less than 10 minutes. So go check them out while you're waiting for the video podcast to come out. And, uh, and if, you want, if you want Forgiven Felons and Background Check to come to your unit, talk to your chaplain. Ask him to invite us to, to the unit uh, and see if we can come, uh, bring some cameras, bring a worship team, whatever we need, no matter what state you're in. I've been to Idaho, Missouri. All you got to do is invite me and see if we can make it work out, okay? Uh, love y'all. Bless y'all. Stay strong, all right? And hey, last thing, don't let your background hold you back. Make it pay you back.